see my little sister with her back on, her back to the staircase and Johnny swings at her and I don't even wait any other, I don't hesitate, I don't wait, I just swung at him. Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung yes. at him. Ever heard of the phrase, the enemy of your enemy is your friend? Well, in this case, the friend of your enemy may see a good reason to be your friend too, as Amber Heard's friend has discreetly revealed that the Aquaman star is indeed the abuser, not the other way around. Through a piece of confidential information, it's been reported that Amber's friend is fully aware of the toggle between Amber and Depp, and she confessed that it was a nasty toggle indeed. According to her, Amber's claim of creating a barricade in a bid to escape from Depp's claws is false. Going down memory lane, Amber previously confessed during the UK trial that in one of her fights with Depp, she had to rush to a room and create a barricade for safety. Heard claims Johnny grabbed me by my hair and choked me against the refrigerator in the kitchen. I tried to stand myself up, but I was sliding around the glass strewn floor and countertop. Johnny threw me away from him and I tried to run away as Johnny continued to throw objects and alcohol at me. In one of the most horrific and scariest moments of this three day ordeal, Johnny grabbed me by the neck and collarbone and slammed me against the countertop. I struggled to stand up as he strangled me, but my arms and feet kept slipping and sliding to the spilled alcohol and were dragged against the broken glass on the countertop and floor, which repeatedly slashed my feet and arms. Heard continues, scared for my life, I told Johnny, you were hurting me and cutting me. Johnny ignored me, continuing to hit me with the back of one closed hand and slamming a hard plastic phone against a wall with his other until it was smashed into smithereens. While he was smashing the phone, Johnny severely injured his finger, cutting off the tip of it. Once I was able to get away, I barricaded myself in an upstairs bedroom. However, the unnamed friend of the Aquaman star claimed that it was all a lie as there was no way she barricaded herself and denied Deb access into the same room for 12 hours while she also claimed Deb had entered the bathroom to write words on the mirror. Besides, we are left to wonder how Amber chose to take pictures of the mirror instead of taking pictures of her horrific injuries, as we would have expected her to take photos of visible injuries, either swelling or bruises. This would have been a better proof to aid her defense compared to the rehearsed stories the fans are finding difficult to believe. Well, kudos to this friend who has decided to anonymously reveal the lack of validity Amber's claims carry. This has not only given the fans more hope, but if considered by Johnny Depp's team, it will surely improve his chances of winning this case. The fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean star can't seem to get over Amber's rehearsed, unconvincing claims, and this discovery will take Amber closer to facing the wrath of the law. One fan wrote, I really hope that Johnny's team uses this to cross the picture in the layout. And let's see how Amber answers that question and how Elaine is going to be able to explain that away. Wow, that's huge. Surely her lawyers are on top of this. How did this not get brought up at the UK trial? Very curious to know if this ex-friend is one of the names we've heard about. Though, of course, I understand you probably can't say, another added. Other fans believe if there was really a form of abuse, Amber should have taken pictures of injuries or informed a medical practitioner to get treated. One fan wrote, at any point when Amber was taking pictures of drugs, mirrors, or Depp sleeping on a chair, she should have taken pictures of her life-threatening injuries. She did not, because she had no injuries. Yup, because pictures of Johnny sleeping are much better evidence than pictures of her broken nose, black eyes, sliced feet, bruising and swelling, and proof of medical reports seeking treatment for all of the abuse? Nah, she doesn't really need that, another added. And hence, the problem with this whole case. No evidence, no photos that look like real injuries, no documented reports. Officers even say no injuries and absolutely no, I mean no medical records or reports. It totally baffles me, another lamented. Team Amber, on the other hand, still believes the Aquaman star's claims are indeed true and convincing as one fan commented, Amber is very believable. It's over for Depp on her first day of testimony. Well, there you have it. More people are supporting the Pirates of the Caribbean star. And while some are simply pledging their loyalty based on how they view Depp, others are revealing more gruesome details about the ex-couple's past relationship. With this, do you think Amber still has a long rope to pull, or is she close to the end of the rope? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Want more of this? 
why not give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Stay connected and see you next time.